The Golden Bachelorette A-lister declines for hefty price tag. October 23, 2024 Hello everyone welcome back to my channel Bachelor Nation News. An A-lister has declined to ever be on the Golden Bachelorette, even if it came with an extremely hefty price tag. Sometimes, the money is not worth it even if it may mean finding love. So who would not appear on the hit ABC show, even if they were given a crazy amount of money? Keep reading for all of the details. A lister declines the Golden Bachelorette for hefty price tag. It is hard to find love at any age, but even harder when one is in their so-called golden years. ABC struck gold with the Golden Bachelor, opening the door to dating and love for people in their 60s and beyond. Jerry Turner had a plethora of women to choose from and a bevy of different experiences. In the end, he proposed and wed Theresa Nist. This helped millions of viewers have renewed hope, despite the fact their marriage was very short-lived. From that show, a female-fronted version was spawned, The Golden Baccalaureate. Daytime royalty Susan Lucci was approached but turned it down as she just did not feel it was right for her. In the end, Joan Vassos, who left Jerry's season early, was chosen. She has had 24 men to choose from, and it has not been easy. More so, Joan was married for over 30 years until her husband passed, so that has also been a challenge. Yet, one A-lister was asked about being on the show, and she is vehemently against it. Martha Stewart was on WWHAL with Andy Cohen. According to Us Weekly, he was chatting with her and Snoop Dogg about the show. The big question was if they had any interest in the Golden Bachelorette, to which Snoop had no idea what it was. Andy explained it was the Bachelorette, but with an older woman. Martha soon shared she did not care for it, but was asked if she would ever appear on it. She said, absolutely not, so Andy asked this. One million dollars an episode, Martha? To that, Martha shared her reasoning for turning down any amount of money. No, the guys aren't hot enough. Winding down. The Golden Bachelorette is winding down, which has viewers feeling the season went by way too fast. Joan Vassos is approaching hometown visits beginning Wednesday, October 23rd. She has four men remaining, Jordan Heller, Guy Ganser, Chalk Chapel, and Pascal Ebge. Joan and Chalk have had a great connection, but in the last episode, he would not leave her alone. Viewers could not help but wonder if that was a red flag that she should watch out for. Do you understand why Martha Stewart would not want to be on the show, and do you agree the men are not hot enough? Let us know and watch The Golden Bachelor at Tuesdays on ABC. Your go-to channel for all the latest and juiciest updates about the world of The Bachelor, the Bachelorette, and of course, the Golden Bachelor franchise. Today, we're diving into a surprising headline. A major A-lister has just revealed that they would turn down a role on the Golden Bachelorette, even for an enormous sum of money. Who could it be, and what's their reasoning? Keep watching to get all the details and join the conversation. Section 1. The Rise of the Golden Bachelor Franchise before we reveal the celebrity who has declined a massive paycheck, let's revisit how the Golden Bachelor franchise has become such a sensation. Finding love at any age is never easy, but it becomes even more challenging when you're in your golden years. This idea resonated deeply with audiences when ABC introduced The Golden Bachelor, which followed Jerry Turner, a charming man in his 70s as he searched for love among a group of incredible women in their 60s and beyond. Fans instantly fell in love with the concept, and Jerry's journey captivated viewers across the nation. Ultimately, he proposed to Theresa Nist, and while their whirlwind romance ended in marriage, their union was short-lived. Despite that, the show gave millions of fans renewed hope that love can bloom at any stage of life. Building on the success of The Golden Bachelor, ABC quickly expanded the franchise with The Golden Bachelorette, a female-led version of the hit show. The producers wanted someone iconic to lead the show, and they even approached daytime television legend Susan Lucci. However, she turned down the offer, 
feeling it wasn't the right fit for her. In the end, Joan Vassos, who left Jerry's season early, was selected to be the first ever Golden Baccalaureate, and her journey has been nothing short of heartwarming. Section 2. Martha Stewart's Bold Refusal Now, Let's Get to the Heart of Today's Story One of the biggest surprises in the entertainment world recently came from Martha Stewart. The lifestyle guru and television personality has made headlines for decades with her elegance, business acumen, and public persona. She's a household name and has successfully navigated the limelight for years, but when it comes to the Golden Bachelorette, Martha is drawing a line in the sand. During a recent appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Martha was asked about her thoughts on the Golden Bachelorette. Sitting next to her good friend Snoop Dogg, who didn't seem too familiar with the show, Martha's candid response caught everyone off guard. According to Us Weekly, Andy Cohen explained to Snoop that the show was essentially The Bachelorette, but with an older woman seeking love. After hearing this, Martha immediately expressed her disinterest in the concept. Andy, always the charmer, pressed on. He asked Martha the million-dollar question, literally. He posed the scenario. What if she were offered one million dollars per episode to appear as the Golden Baccalaureate? Would she reconsider? Without hesitation, Martha said, absolutely not. Her reasoning was blunt and straightforward. No, the guys aren't hot enough. Martha's sharp remark had everyone laughing, but it also revealed something deeper about her standards when it comes to love and attraction. Even the lure of a massive paycheck couldn't sway Martha's decision. She's clearly not someone who would compromise for the sake of a show, no matter how lucrative it might be. Section 3. Reactions to Martha's Comment Naturally Martha's comment sparked a whirlwind of reactions on social media and in fan circles. Many people applauded her for staying true to herself and not being tempted by money. It takes confidence and self-assuredness to turn down such a significant offer, especially in today's entertainment industry, where money often speaks louder than anything else. But on the other hand, some fans of the show felt a bit stung by Martha's remark, particularly her quip about the men not being hot enough. Many viewers of the Golden Bachelor franchise admire the diversity in both appearance and personality that the contestants bring to the table. Love, especially in later years, often focuses more on emotional connection, shared experiences, and chemistry rather than just physical attraction. So, while Martha's comment was certainly humorous, it did leave some wondering if her standards might be a bit too high when it comes to dating in the golden years. Section 4. The Golden Bachelorette's Current Journey As the Golden Bachelorette continues, Joan Vassos has been navigating her journey toward love. For those who are just tuning in, Joan was a standout contestant during Jerry Turner's season of The Golden Bachelor. She was admired for her grace, poise, and vulnerability, especially as she revealed the deep connection she had with her late husband, who passed away after 30 years of marriage.